Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2021 American horror film called The Devil Below. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. The movie begins with a scene of a mining area belonging to Shookum Hills coal mine. We are introduced to Paul, the co-founder of the company who is talking with his son Derek about a mine worker in the company as they are leaving. Just in a moment, Derek is abruptly being dragged by something unseen below. He rushes in to save his son. However, Paul is stabbed in the shoulder and becomes paralyzed. Poor Derek being dragged away and screaming in vain are Paul's last memories to be seen. Years later, Ariane, an experienced adventurer, is hired to lead a group of scientists including Darren, the leader, Sean, Terry, and Jamie to search for coal mines in the areas of Shookum Hills. As in need of suppliers, they stop by a store in a small town on the way. Ariane starts asking the proprietor about the location of Shookum Hills, where it used to be around until it was burned down to the ground and seems to be wiped off from the Earth's surface. However, the proprietor says that he has never heard of it. As Ariane keeps asking him, he tells them to stop searching and go back to where they come from. When Ariane goes outside, a local man in the store immediately informs a shadowy character that they've got a problem. As Ariane's group leave and continue to search for the town, another car follows them, attempting to scare them away. Just then, the car unexpectedly stops halfway, aiming to make the team pass one specific point in the road. As an experienced adventurer, Ariane quickly recognizes that they are trying to hide the way, heading to Shookum Hills. Eventually, the team manages to reach the destination. The way to Shookum Hills is a narrow dirt road blocked by an electrified fence. The team has got to get out of the car and sneak in by climbing on a tree nearby. After entering the area, they start inspecting and taking samples. When the night comes, the team camp near the riverside and start giving theories, explaining the disappearance of Shookum Hills. While Darren believes that it is basically an environmental disaster, Sean is open to all possibilities. He thinks this place is a well to hell, drilled by the government, just like the hellhole in Siberia that was dug by the Russians. In the meantime, a group of locals find out the electric wire has been torn and pulled out. They start inspecting the scene, but one of them is killed by a mysterious creature. At this point, while two locals are fixing the electric fence, Paul shows up and says he wants the group of scientists to leave the area. At the camp of the scientists, Darren asks Ariane to join them at the mining area. Here, Darren starts to introduce his team to Ariane. Terry and Sean are experts in geology, just like him, while Jamie is a safeguard. He also adds that the purpose of this trip is to look for a rare mineral, anthracite, and find out about the disaster that happened in Shookum Hills to prevent something similar in the future. The very next day, the team walks into the woods to begin their search. When they are about to take some samples, the escort car from yesterday appears and wanders around. The team has to hide beside a rock for a moment. Eventually, they make it to Shookum Hills and wander around the town. After entering a random house, they suspect that the gas from the sinkhole is the reason behind the disappearance of a thousand inhabitants. Ariane opens the door of the house, revealing the whole abandoned mining area behind it. The team is so happy as they finally reach the place they wanted to go. Now, they find a big hole on the ground covered with electrified grates. They break a part of it and quickly establish equipment, checking for anthracite. Sean lowers the equipment into the hole as Terry is collecting data from it. After a while, the team of scientists are very happy, learning that they have found pure anthracite in the hole. However, Terry finds out something abnormal when trying to listen to the sound sent from the scanner. He unintentionally steps on the rope and is suddenly dragged into the hole by a mysterious force, leaving the whole team in panic. Seeing that, Ariane and Jamie immediately get to the bottom of the hole to find Terry. Just a few moments later, Dale, a local, arrives with a shotgun and a knife. He gets angry after learning that the grate has been lifted. No matter how desperate Darren is for help, Dell is determined to cut the rope. Sean hits him unconscious to save Ariane and Jamie. Meanwhile, down the hole, Jamie is determined to look for Terry, but Ariane convinces him to go back as the gas level here is sky high. The gas will kill them before they could find Terry. Eventually, Ariane and Jamie make it to the ground. The remaining members of the team decide to take Dell's car and go back to call for help. On the way, escaping from the scene, Darren drives the car and hits something as the whole experience left them traumatized. The team has no choice but to get out of the car to make it out of the woods before it gets dark. Meanwhile, Dale wakes up near the grate, but right after he could inform the locals, he is killed by the creature. Night has come. While the group of scientists led by Ariane are going through the woods, they hear something unusual. As Ariane uses the night vision glasses to look around, the group encounters a creature ambush. They frantically run off, but unfortunately, Sean is attacked and dragged away. At this point, Shelby, a local woman, drives a truck approaching and saves them. Now, Ariane, Darren, and Jamie are the only three people on the team who remain. After Shelby takes them to a safe house, they face the anger from the locals for letting the creatures out. Here, the group also meets Paul, who gave up being the co-founder of the mining company. 
Now, what he does is contain the creatures to protect the people. Darren says the group of scientists are here on purely academic purposes and explains their motive for coming to Shookum Hills. Ariane starts questioning Paul about what happened with the town. He answers with a brooding tone in his belief this place is like a purgatory where people go to confront their sins. In the meantime, Shelby gets a call from another local saying that there are a lot of creatures outside. As the locals have to find the breach and seal it, Ariane volunteers to show them the way. Darren and Jamie also follow to find Sean and Terry as soon as possible. After getting out of the house, they confront many more creatures coming, so they have to run uphill to a safe house. Elroy, an old local man, sacrifices himself to buy others time getting away from the creatures. Finally, the group makes it to the safe house and stays there for a while. They have to keep quiet as the creatures are attracted to noises. However, there's one creature lurking around the house and starting to call for the other creatures. After one creature enters the house, they distract it and manage to escape the house through a tunnel underground. On the way, Shelby splits off and decides to distract the monster while Arion, Darren, and Jamie manage to go to the end of the tunnel and break the fence to escape. However, as some of the creatures are about to reach them, Jamie stops and attempts to kill the creatures with a grenade. However, one of them attacks him and knocks the grenade out of his hand. The grenade explodes, killing him. While Arion and Darren keep moving forward through the tunnel, Darren stops for a while as he is exhausted and traumatized. He regrets leading his team to come here. Then, he confesses that he is actually backed by a mining company who wants him to search for anthracite and offers him a lot of money for it. As Darren deeply regrets and feels bad about himself, Ariane encourages him by telling him her experience in the past. One time, she was hired to accompany a guy to the Himalayas, but ended up killing the client to save her own life. Eventually, seeing Darren losing all hopes, she goes away seeking help from the locals and promises to come back. In the meantime, the locals led by Paul start to attract the monsters to the gate and shoot at them. When Ariane reaches the surface, she follows the shooting sound seeking for help. To her surprise, she is stabbed with paralytic venom and captured by a creature. When Ariane wakes up and finds herself on a raft with Shelby's body, she tries to find her weapon but is then paralyzed by one creature who is pulling the raft. Ariane again wakes up and reunites with Darren and Sean. While Darren is trying to give her a grenade, Sean says that these creatures are alternative species which breed and colonize like ants and bees. Before Sean can finish, two creatures grab him and bring him to feed the queen. Later on, Arion manages to grab the grenade before she is brought to be fed to the queen. As she is about to be swallowed, Darren turns on his alarm to distract the two other creatures. In the nick of time, Arion grabs the opportunity and gives the grenade to the queen, killing it. She quickly grabs Darren, running away under the pursuit of the creatures. In the end, they finally find a rope leading to the ground. While Arion quickly climbs up, Darren manages to put his gear on and follows her. However, a creature reaches them and climbs on the rope also. Arion gives Darren a knife to kill it but the creature again stabs him with the venom. Finally, he decides to cut the rope, sacrificing himself to save Ariane. While Ariane is reaching the surface, the locals arrive at the breach. Knowing the creatures are coming after Ariane, Paul shows up and saves Ariane right before the creatures make it to the surface. The locals successfully contain the creatures by using flamethrowers and rifles, forcing them back into the hole. At this point, Ariane is the only survivor in the team of five. Paul drives her to the gate where the team stopped in the beginning. Here, he tells Ariane about the death of his son, Derek. What he could do now is contain the monsters in Shookum Hills instead of telling someone else as they wouldn't believe him. Paul then asks Ariane to stay and help. After a while, she reluctantly decides to stay and fight with him. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.